Hey everyone, and welcome to 4560 of the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 92 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin. Alright, let's go back to Majula real quick and level up, and while we're waiting for the game to load, I'll explain what happened last time. So, when it's the memory of Jay, I did try and do some uh, quick research to figure out who Jay was, couldn't find anything. Um, when I say quick, I mean like 20 seconds. <laughs> hey, at least I did something. Um, and, wow, am I down to 40 human effigies that's low um okay so you got a soul of a giant we got the giant lord's soul which is that one the giant's kinship which is a very a very important item uh, and a few other things we'll go over them in a moment um let's level up first come on we're almost there done yay we did it 20 and 20 all right brilliant so the next levels will probably wow 136 perfect Okay, all my next levels will go to probably adaptability, get that to 20, and then we'll get attunement to 25, I think, for the five slots, and then vigor, endurance, and strength, probably. We'll figure it out as we go along. Um, let's go to... Let's start making our way to the next memory that we have to do, and that is... I always forget what they are. One's there, and one is there so let's go to this one again um okay so uh we have the giant's kinship that's the final key item that we need to actually complete the game so we could actually go and complete the game now basically we'd go back to where we fought the throne watcher and defender we'd have the giant's kinship is it called i literally just said it and i forgot yeah um giant's kinship um We'd go in there and fight the... You know, where is it? That's left this time. Uh, go in there, fight the... Um, why don't I go out this way? Sorry, hang on. This is the slow way. So let's change paths. Um, we have the Giant's Kinship. We'd go to where we fought Throne Watcher and Defender and we could fight the last uh, final boss. Um, not going to do that because there's still... Um, two memories to get through for some extra items. There's also um, the DLC areas uh, and the massive amount of farming. Well, not massive amount of farming. It's like one item that we have to farm, but it's going to take a while um, left to do. Uh, finally, what's the other thing? You may want to do the memory of Jay again. You can do it, do it as many times as you want, which is nice. Um, because I think I missed an item, so if I have time, I'll probably try and do it again today. Um, okay, so this is another Withered Giant. Let's examine. You get pretty much exactly the same cutscene, just in a different area. And this will be a different memory. Now, the memory, the one that we just did is arguably the easiest memory. The other two are quite quite challenging, and I'm, uh, I have a feeling it's going to take all episode to do one of them at least. Okay, this is the me memory of Van Ma, Van Ma, or whatever, however, however you pronounce it. Um, this one I'll probably have to do twice because I'm probably going to get kicked out. We have to listen to a guy talk. Um, here he is. This is... Oh, what's his name? What's his name? I can't remember his name, but he'll say it in a moment. Um, you get a trophy, actually, for just listening to this guy. So, um, you know what? I'll raise the volume a little bit and try and remember to lower it afterwards. That should be plenty. Here we go. What are you doing here? You are not one of our soldiers. And I don't take you for a mercenary. Drummond. I think his name is Drummond. Whoever you are, this is no battle to involve yourself in. Whether you are guided by bravery or brashness, <laughs> this is no place for you. I am Drummond. There we go. <laughs> and the Lord has placed this fort in my hands. Whoever you are, I forgive your trespass. But leave this place immediately. Just mention my name, and no man will challenge your exit. And even if you don't, by now, my men have not the will to resist. Soon, the giants will descend upon this fort. It is revenge for the kingdom's misguided barbarism. 
The venerable lord built this kingdom to bring prosperity to his subjects. What has transformed him so, I cannot imagine. Okay, so he's talking about Vendrick, I'm pretty sure, because in this... Where is it? In the giant's... Is it giant's kinship? Uh, no, wait. I'll read that in a moment. Um, where was it? I think it was Giant Lord Sol, actually. Yeah, so... Sol of a giant lord who once conquered Drang Lake, Vendrick crossed the seas, took prisoner the giants, and brought them back to his castle, clapped in irons. However, after this modest triumph, his countenance could be seen to grow darker with each passing day. So, he... He crossed the seas, he took the giants prisoner, and then he got back to the castle and basically, like, ordered giants around. But then he started to become crazy, and Drummond, I think, is one of his subjects, and didn't know why he was becoming crazy. I think that's what... I think that's how that part of the story goes, if I'm not mistaken. Long ago, the king oh, crossed the seas, <laughs> pillaged the land of giants, and brought back a prize. It was then that the golems materialized. The giants are no ordinary barbarians. A singular rage burns within their hearts. My father and his father both fought the giants on this very land. The giants have wills of steel. They cannot find it within themselves to forgive the misdeeds of our Lord. Did you see him? That towering monster among them? That is most certainly their king. He will be a thing to topple. <laughs> Even if I should die trying. Oh, okay, so my maybe blade may break, break my arrows fall wide, but my will shall never be broken. Those who live by the sword will die by it, and I, Drummond, won't go down without drawing mine. I like how in just a few short sentences, um, Drummond's like a really cool badass. <laughs> Take these. I think you may just need them. Okay, so he gives us the Drang Lake Helm. Don't ask me why. I just do. The Ashen Mist is thin, so we're about to be kicked be out of the This fort will soon fall. Be gone before the giants are entirely upon us. Okay, and we can learn a gesture from him. Hurrah! And that's the last gesture as well. Gesture Be monster. Gone with you. Be gone. Alright, cool. So we're about to be kicked out of memory anyway. Let me just lower the sound again. There we go. Alright, Ashen Mist fades, that's fine. Okay, so maybe Drummond and um, Vendrick are opposing each other because he said, like, did you see that towering monster above them? Uh, you know, what a thing it would be to, like, take him down, so... I think they're not friends, basically, <laughs> based off that sentence. Um... And now we go back in, and this time we can just deal with everything that we need to deal with without, um, talking to Drummond. Uh, let's have a quick look at that Drang Lake helm. Uh, a traditional Drang Lake helmet belonged to Captain Drummond. In his day, King Vendrick was fair and just and expected the same of his liegemen. This helm was proof of King Vendrick's trust and honor until his transfiguration. Ah, oh, so maybe he did, like, work with him, but then he stopped. Um, or he, like, turned against him because, you know, Thingo turned against him. Um, be careful with this door, I'm pretty sure it is. No? I thought it was... Is it this one, then? Pretty sure there's a door that... No, okay. I think this is the rest of his set, isn't it? Oh, smooth and silky stone times five. There we go. Poke. Oh my god. Am I dead? <gasps> oh man, that is hilarious. I survived with... That had to be one health, right? There's no way that wasn't one health. Maybe I shouldn't have done this already. That is such a huge amount of damage. Alright. Whatever, he's 
dead. Um, now, where is it? That's where we got to go, but I'm pretty sure there is... There's an item here. Fire seed. Cool. I thought there was like a giant that broke through or something. Uh, another good way to do this is to... Why did I do that? I actually forgot how to play for a second. <laughs> Just burn him with fireballs as well. That's a decent... What on earth happened there? Ah! Damn it. Can you not? Oh, what are you doing? I hate... Wow, that is fast. Can you please let me attack him once? I should probably heal. <laughs> Hey, I pressed circle. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh my god. <sighs> okay, so... Like I said, this memory and the other one, <laughs> or the, the last one, um, are much, much harder than the one I just did before. And part of the reason is because the giants are... Well, first of all, they're outrageously strong, but not just that. The the actual, like, the design of them um, and the way that they um, act is unlike the other enemies in the game. So they're very big and bulky, and the game pretty much, like, across the board tells you that the big bulky enemies will attack slow, right? That's kind of their weakness. Um, but for the giants, that's not the case. Um, because they, you know, they just don't follow that rule. So it's it's a lot harder to defeat them, which is why you need pyromancy. Uh, straight ahead. Yeah, there he is. Now he broke open the door. I don't know why he didn't do it before. Stop it. Um, all right, I do not want to die. So I'm just going to try and do this. I don't think I'll have enough fireballs to get through, but oh, you sneaky bastard! I might you, uh, you know what? I might just get through this whole area with fireballs by using like um, herbs and stuff. What about fire orb? How much does that do? Jesus! Oh crap! I <laughs> what? What on earth? That um. Okay, so. That was obviously a glitch. Um, but uh, what that suggests is that you could probably use a weapon like um, the large club or the... No, the giant club, I think it's called. Um, and smack them down. Because if they have the ability to fall like that and enter that pose, then it suggests that that is possible. Uh, I've never tried, so I can't say for sure, but that would be my guess. Alright, there's an item up here. Large soul of an aimless soldier, that is totally what I would expect to see there. <laughs> I mean, well, it is in a way, but it isn't in another way. Like, I expect to see something even bigger. Uh, let's go fireball. I don't know why I threw it at you. The big guy is easily going to kill all the little guys, so just go for him. Got him. Try and take advantage of, like... Any, uh, any direct attacks you can do. Roll. You still do good damage to them, that's, that's the thing. Why do I keep losing targets so much? I should have gone for the other one. Roll. Goodbye. Now you can take one. Nice. I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> okay, uh, where is it? Isn't there a ladder here or something? I must be thinking of a different area. Also, it, it, this is going to be very t tough. Oh god. Alright, this is going to be super risky, but it's the only thing I can think of doing right now. Um, let's put some... I'm just going to use the, the good one. Nice, I got 12. Oh, God. Not like that. No, not like this. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? 15 minutes. 
Okay, screw yourself. Fine. Um. <clears throat> oh god, the pain. No, please. Oh my god, leave me alone. Nope. I'm dead. <laughs> Damn, man. How did this become so hard? Alright, new plan. We're gonna leave this area. <laughs> um, and we'll come back when we're stronger. We won't be much stronger, but we'll be stronger nonetheless. Um, do, do, do. So, yeah, I'll get my body back at the beginning of the next episode, I guess. And then um, we'll continue from there. Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 92 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.